Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how you can easily use this template or ones like it that we've created here at Photobox Designs. Um, it's a very simple template, it's got a bunch of options, and I'm going to show you how you can take a photo um, and place it into this template and cut it out pretty simply. So when you open up the template, you'll see that there is a snow layer here. You can shut that off if you like. I like it. I think it's, I think it adds a little bit of whimsy to it. And you can choose to put your person under the snow or above the snow, whichever you like. Um, of course, you can always use a mask. So if you want to, you know, mask some of it off with a paint, with a black paintbrush, go feel free. I even stuck the mask in there for you already. You have a snow angel layer. That is this one. This is where you're going to place your person. And you have a background layer, which just shuts and all the pieces in the rest of this template are um, just all embedded into it. So basically just wanna show you a couple of quick little things that you can do with the template. You have a snow angel layer. It is already in there for you. You can put one person in. Um, however, I left, I did not embed it into the template so that you could have more options. So you can take this angel layer, press command T, to transform, I'm going to go to the move tool. Um, and again, try again, command T. And you can take it, you can make it smaller. You can move it around. All right. And let's say you have two kids, two kiddos you want to do. You want to put into this little, into here. You can take it, move it, maybe put one here. And then you can grab it and bring it down to the plus sign and duplicate it. Press Command T. I'm on a Mac, so I think it's Control T on a PC. And take the duplication, and now you can have two snow angels. So it's as easy as that, as to take your snow angels and make this into a template that can accommodate more than just one person. So um, you can do that again. Take the angel copy, plus sign, press Command T, free transform. Maybe you want to turn that one and then you'll probably have to, of course, resize them all so that they would fit and move them around. Um, but that's how you can add more snow, snow people into your template. Okay. So let's go back to the beginning here and we're going to just go back to, uh, to when we opened it up and let's see here. All right gonna just go back all right so let's start off right here so I'm going to bring a person in now uh, when you shoot your photograph of your child or client just take a you know look at the angles that um, you're shooting at because you're pretty much facing down um, so you're gonna want to have your child in the snow or on a green screen or on something with a lot of contrast um, to what they're wearing to make it easier to shoot, but you're also going to want to use, um, you know, want to shoot them down and try to look at the lighting. This lighting is very, uh, really, there's really no angle to this lighting. This lighting is pretty open. So you, you know, if you go outside and you shoot them outside, you should be fine. So this is just a free stock photo that I'm using. Um, I'm going to go file place embedded. I'm going to find a photo. I have this cute kid. I found him on, uh, I guess on Adobe stock. I must've paid for this one. Um, <clears throat> and, but there are, and I'm just gonna take them, make them pretty large, press okay. I'm actually gonna shut off the snow just for now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them out and I'm going to go up here to the object selection tool. It really is quite simple and pretty good. So I like this picture because you see how he's wearing such bright colors and he's up against the white snow. So there's a lot of contrast. And uh, so I'm going to just take that object selection tool. Whoops. I guess it's not going to work so great right now. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, you can use that if you, uh, if you have a square that you want to move it into, but I'm struggling right now. So let's try it again. I'm just going to use what I normally use. I actually just tried the object selection tool today when I was practicing this and thought it was really cool. Um, but I'm just going to go back to my usual method, which is I go to the 
to the quick selection tool. And then I just go to, I'm making sure that I'm, um, I do not sample all layers. I'm keeping that unchecked and I press select subject and it does a fairly good job of selecting the subject for me. And I'm going to have to bump some of this out here. Here we go. And I'm going to, I'm just going back and forth between the plus and the minus just to add a little more to my selection or a little less to my selection um, until I feel like the selection is enough. You can go even further with your selections, of course, and, um, and go make sure that they're absolutely perfect. I'm not going to make sure they're absolutely perfect here, but uh, it looks pretty good. The marching ants look like they're pretty much around him. So it looks great. I'm just going to press, I'm just going to pop a mask over him. And now he looks good, but he looks like he's floating in space. It's actually positioned pretty well. I'm going to position him again. Command T. I'm just going to move him in a little bit. All right. And now I'm going to go up to, I'm going to right click on the layer of the boy, blending options. And I'm going to press drop shadow. And then you can play with the different things here, distance, um, the angle that you want your drop shadow to be in, spread. You know, you just have to experiment with these things until you think the drop shadow looks pretty good. And once you like what you see, you press OK. And uh, right now my guy is, uh, it looks pretty good, but I think that I could do a little better with the shadows just to ground him a tiny bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blank layer and I'm going to drag it underneath him using, I push B for brush tool using a black brush at maybe 20% opacity. I'm just going to add in some darker shadows here just to kind of really ground him in a little bit more. Okay. Like here, I really feel like you could use a little more. I'm going to even bump it up to 30% opacity. Give him a nice darker shadow here. And just really let him look like he's sitting. It's amazing what shadows do. And give him a couple more shadows. I think he looks so much better now. And now I'm, he's a smart object. So you can see that his effects, like the drop shadow is all lined up. You can close it and um, shut off the drop shadow if you want. And you can see the difference. But I'm going to rasterize this layer because I'm going to do one more thing and it won't work with a smart object. So I'm going to right click on it, right click on it, and I'm going to rasterize the layer. And I'm going to go to, let's see, I'm going to go to... Um, adjustments, match color. And it's just, I'm going to go to the source. Kind of want to match him to the background, which is the winter snow angel on the wood table. So I'm just going to click on that. Um, let's see if it's done anything. I'm going to click the preview. That eh, didn't really do anything, but I'm going to play around with the uh, luminance, the amount of light because he's a little bit bright for this picture, the color intensity. I don't want to undo it too much. Okay, I just like to kind of play around just to kind of get him a little bit more realistic and maybe a little more luminous. He needs to be a little bit brighter because it is kind of a bright scene. So just let's see, you can look, click the preview button and you can see what you've done. I'm going to give him a little bit more light. I think I took away too much light from him. Click the preview. Yeah, see, I think it's a little bit better. I think he's, this is all preference too. And basically, press OK. That is it. Um, you know, I'm going to turn the snow back on. So the snow layer, you can decide if the snow is a little too much for him. If you like all that snow, if you don't like it, um, totally up to you. And then one more thing that you can do if you're into actions, I happen to like using certain actions um, in my work. I'm a big fan of Jessica Drossen. And so I'm going to just go to her action. Um, I just want to kind of like pull it all together and throw an action over the top. You can probably just do this with a, um, 
with just a warm tone layer if you want to. But I'm going to use the Eden overlay. I like this. I'm just gonna click on that. Just like a bit of a warm tone that's gonna go over it and it also gives it a little bit of a vignette. So, um, because there's a little light coming through. And I'm gonna just reduce the opacity a little bit and here's the difference. Just added just that extra touch of warmth and a little more saturation, which I like, my preference. Um, don't have to do that, but just a thought, you know, if you happen to like actions or, you know, you can continue to hand edit and achieve the exact same effect. Okay, so this is it. Um, this is how you would add people into this template and it's a very simple template to use. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please contact us at Photobox Designs and check out www.photoboxdesigns.com for many, many, many other templates created by many different featured artists in our marketplace store. We have over 700 templates in that store and growing. Thanks.